watching um we was watching some show last night. No, we was watching Netflix. And you know how you always watch Netflix, it's always on you put your subtitles on, right? Right. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like which Yeah. He was like, What you want me to answer? Right, you nigga. I don't know when that became a thing with everyone globally. Come on. Because it wasn't like that like in in college. It wasn't like that in school. I didn't need subtitles back then. But sometime within the last five years or so, it became it's the writing. To me, it's the, it's the writing. writing in the shows. Yeah, to me, it's the writing because it's like sometimes you miss the like the uh, homonyms that they be using. You know what I mean? Like shit like that. Uh, so it, but I'm it, saying, has it not always been like that? No, or, hell or, no. Is it, or is it just because streaming has gotten so good at like because captions back in the day were trash. Right, captions nowadays off. though they could be catching everything. That's like, what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. So maybe just the technology has made us like, oh, I'm gonna just look at this shit. I've been watching the caption the whole time, like looking up, like <laughs> every well, now and then to see what's going on, like check reading this the out. words the whole time. Like, my favorite chips or my favorite snack is chips. Right, my favorite type of chip is kettle chips. I'm kettle sitting there last night, like, yeah, kettle should have a commercial. <laughs> that said, like, you know, something like, uh, like something that just like, just like a blank screen and there's nothing but captions at the bottom and all you hear is the audio and it's just, it's just, no, it's not even audio. It's just the screen and then the captions and it's just like you smacking on some kettle chips and then in the corner, just like, yeah, we know. Like the subtitles is for niggas who like kettle chips. Because you can never <laughs> hear shit while you chewing the motherfuckers. Like, uh, them was the loud, yeah, them was the loudest uh, chips ever. You, so I got to read subtitles when I'm eating them chips. Mm, that know, makes sense for sure. Something like that. That makes sense. So it was like shit like that. She's like, why don't you just do it? I said, I can literally do it right now. I can go to my computer right now and do it. So, like, so why don't just you? make the commercial. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so why don't you? It's a fucking great question. You know? And shit like that. Sounds like a pretty easy commercial to make. But then I got a million of them, so it's like, all right, if I start there, then when I stop. And then I... Listen, I, I can't remember who said this, but it was like, the being a creative means waking up every day with 150 new ideas and knowing that you'll maybe accomplish one or two. And that's just, you just got to live with that. Every that's, day. That's such, <laughs> like, yes. It's literally like yes. you're going to have 150 great ideas. Maybe you get two off. Maybe. And the rest is going to just chalk it off to tomorrow. Dead like, ass. No, it's not even tomorrow because you wake up another 150. With another 150. It's like yeah. maybe you hold up. But it's like, yeah. <laughs> Same Dead shit. Dead ass. That's why I be talking about. I, I, you think I'm, I, I'm not even playing when I say I be tossing up. Yo, you take this because I can't. You know what I mean? Like this is, yeah. this should be in the yeah. world. Just try this one. You take this one. Like, right. I can't do right. them all. Right. But I would like Dang. to see it done. Dang. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Dang. Dang. I'd be on the right shit down just to make it through, the, like, the next 150. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you better, I'm trying to hold on to that idea through the next 150. He's like, God damn it. And you'd be like, why you got? Why are you writing on your pad? Why are you writing? I'm like, yo, because it got to go somewhere. It got to yeah. go somewhere. Like, Yeah. For sure. I got no pets full of shit I can't do. <laughs> For sure. <Straight> up. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> that's for real. Uh, I like that shit because that's a fact. That's it's definitely a fact. resonated when I was like, oh, that's, yeah, that's my life. Gotta live with that. <laughs> that's the worst yeah. part. You gotta. Yeah. You're gonna do you all gotta live with it. <laughs> no, you ain't gonna Not possible. That. Not humanly possible at all. <laughs> that's the fucked up part. And that's why yeah. I feel like that's that even that doubles down on my feeling that I need to go to consultation a lot more. Like, just take this idea because you know what I mean. Just take it. Like, this is yeah. a, this is a million dollar idea, and you paying a buck fifty for it. Like, just what's wrong exactly. with it? Exactly. And it's like they're just going to end up just being out there anyway. You might as well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's part of the reason why we started this podcast because we both got hella, you know, what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> like <laughs> ideas and shit. Yeah, document but it's like, you know, like yeah, just document <laughs> it just, just for the sake of it. Maybe someone else would like, you know, what I'm saying like make that commercial or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 
They don't watch this and be like, this is fucking And they'll novel. just reference, they'll just reference the podcast and niggas will be like, hey. Right, that works. That all you works. need, just shout it out. Just shout it out, that's it. And like, some, and some free kettle chips, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> no bullshit. No bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I really, I think I'm going to just make that. I, I just upgraded my fucking new window for uh, sync licensing and shit and, you know, and, um, Post audio work and everything. It's like, why well, don't I don't fucking use it? Because I'm so worried about getting work done for this bullshit job. Where I got a million dollars in my head every single day. Yeah. That's the fucking conundrum. It's a cool word to use. That's the, that's like the double dutch we all got to play right now when you're trying to like live in the real world and in the do what I want world. <laughs> like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like bills gotta get paid and shit. Like today, I'm saying it like, why? Why don't? Why does it feel like I have? I woke up at seven a.m. all the way up until now. I'm like, I, I'm literally rushing. I'm, I'm, I'm literally running around. Like, why do? Why don't I have enough fucking time in the day? There's twenty four, fourteen hundred and forty minutes. That's when I feel like I gotta wake up early or stay up later. It's like, yeah, it's ridiculous. But like even after this, I got more shit to do. It's like, chief, you know what I mean? Like, it's not even. I can do some more shit, but I, I when do I get time to go ahead and take time to go ahead and make that presentation for this weed company or? I could have been this make time, shit. right? I, I, exactly. That's it. Like there ain't no excuse about it. It's just like where do I fucking fit that time? You know what I mean? I'm sitting there like looking at it like, uh, no, ah, wait. Mm, I want to give myself at least an hour and a half. Like, uh, I could probably use an hour here, maybe 15 minutes here. Maybe you know what I mean? Like, I'm sitting there like trying to edge everything yeah. in and shit. But right. yeah, I like to. I like to definitely take a block out and focus on one thing. That's how I like to do my shit. Like take a block. Focus on that one thing. If I don't do that, I will have like 1,800 tabs open, four browsers. You know what I mean? Like, shit would just be nuts all the time. Like, that's usually how I'm working. Matter of fact, staring at this damn screen all day. Yo, if you're on a computer all day, shout out to Gunner. Cut the chat. Cut the motherfucking chat. But yeah, like making commercials for gunner glasses. As simple Best as that. In the game. Best yeah, in the yeah, game. man. Like for real. Unless someone else wants has a bigger check for us, then right. y'all be the best in the game. But You're right. <laughs> but, but gunner definitely top five. Depending on that check, I don't know where you sit though. Nah, I say depending on the check, gunner <laughs> might not even be on the you know what I'm saying? Like Got a who? What was right. that? <laughs> I listen rapping. to Gunner all the time. I listen to Gunner all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I know them. <laughs> that was funny. But no, these motherfuckers, some lightsabers, I literally been standing on the screen all day. My fucking eyes are tired of shit now. And I got more staring at you. But no, I'm a definitely, I need to make that a priority. Like, for real. For real. My problem is I'm the only one motivating me. You know what I mean? Like, you know how you were so ambitious and shit? Like, who motivates you? You know what I mean? Like, you're probably everybody else's motivation and shit. Like, that's... Nigga, like, that's why you think me and you friends, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Seriously. me and you are the only niggas that have had these type of conversations for real. Seriously. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, other people, we have conversations, but it's not on the same, like, you know. <laughs> I hear all the shit you got going on, I'm just like, ass. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me... You know what I'm saying? Right. Let me get this LLC. Let me get this. Let me get my shit. You know what I'm right. like, for real? Yeah, for sure. And I'd be so like, look, it ain't even that. It'd be shit that I'd be thinking was hard. And it's like, look, it's, it's, it ain't even yeah. hard. They made it look hard. It's not even that hard. Yeah. It's just taking that step. Mm -hmm. Like, for real. It's like what you said, nigga, why don't you do it? You're right. It's just, uh, yeah. You, you fucking yeah. right. Oh, I have no I have no rebuttal. Listen, well, I, I got I got I got a to do list every day that never gets done, but I try. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the only it's like, you know what I mean? It just grows and grows and grows. I never get it all checked off. Like, it's just... This is what I've learned. This is what I've learned. I've read a lot of articles from millionaires and Forbes and blah, blah, blah. And it works. Works for me. I guess it works for those millionaires as well. I'll write a list of things I have to do. And I won't, but I won't go off that, to, that to-do list. I will take that that to-do list and put it on a calendar. Now it's scheduled events. And that's what I'm talking about. I like to take a block. And that's all I'm concerned about at that time. That's it. That makes you get it done. So it's like I got to put the marketing, the put the presentation somewhere on my schedule. So at that on point. A certain day. Certain yeah, day certain time. day, certain time. Boom. Ain't nothing else you're supposed sense. to be doing at that time. Then you get sense. it done. Yeah. Might have tried that, yeah. That was part of like a time management schedule. Because it's like a, 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 a list is so daunting that you get frustrated with it. I don't yeah. know where to start. Right. It's not even so much as daunting. I don't know where to start. Like, do I start here? Do I start? It's like, I don't know, like, you know. Now it's you start on Tuesday at 3 30 doing this. You know what I mean? Now, now it's right. like, all right. All right. Hey, yo, right. you trying to go? Nah, I got I got to do this. Yo, you trying to? Nah, man, I wish I could, but I mean, but I could, I could that's when you get hit niggas with, I could pencil you in. You know what I mean? Like, I, can, I can see, I can see where we can do that, but nah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't got time to waste. Facts, right? That makes a lot of sense. And you do have to schedule some chill time, and you do have to schedule some. All right, fuck it. You know what I mean? It's a fuck around time in there, like yeah, that's important. Yeah. But that that little trick right there helps me a lot because most of my shit is on like my all my meetings from work is on there, all my little appointments or whatever I got to do, all my sprint plannings and shit is on there. I keep I I've never used a calendar so much in my life until I moved out to California. Mm. And I say that because I had it's a fucking blank canvas and I just was everywhere like I need to do this, I need to do this. Once I scheduled shit, it was like all right. Today I'm doing this at this time. Today I'm doing this at this time. If somebody wants me to do something, I'm not available to this time. Just kept it pushing. Kept it pushing because it's like I, I, I have no time to waste. Literally, you know what I mean? So I, every minute was valuable. That's why I learned about the whole 1,440 minutes. You know? I wake yeah. up at 6 a.m. It's 300 minutes gone. All right? Let me see. 330, 360 minutes gone, I guess. 360, yeah. Gone, out of my 1440. Like 1440 sounds like a small amount, when you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Only 1440 minutes and 24 hours. Yeah. You wake up at 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. and 360 gone for the day. Yeah, sleep is trash. <laughs> right. Like, super trash. I wish we were like phones where we could still operate... But charging at the same time? It makes <laughs> no sense. Every time I think about sleep, it just makes no sense. It's just like, it's just, why? But that's what I'm saying. Like, like, who added this little feature to this simulation? <laughs> you have to sleep. Yeah, let's make them sleep. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I would rather sleep during the day. Like, for real, I'll sleep during the day and I would rather work all night because you're not, you don't have as many distractions at night. But the problem with that is everything's closed. That's why it's hard to get get that sleep during the day too. Sometimes we gotta be disciplined because everything is open. Everything's open, right? And everyone's available, and people want to do shit, and there's opportunity. And like (laughs) when it's night, everything's closed. So you just like, let me go to sleep. Ain't shit to do. Like I'm talking about like businesses. If I can wake up and get my fucking you know mail some shit out, and you know what I mean, like two a.m. and and get my, right. You know, get some shit done at 2 a.m. I'd rather do it at 2 a.m. than during the day. It's cooler okay. outside. <laughs> you ain't yeah. worry about the heat, the traffic. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't mind being up at night. Yeah, but it's just not... It, it, it doesn't work. And that's the fucked up part. It's like, y'all set us up for shit just not to work. So I got to figure out every 24-hour spot 
And then it's all garbage. Like I can't even eat in the middle of the night. You know what I mean? Like, I got I got some bullshit oh, yeah. in the middle of the night. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's why New York is so dope. Like when we was in New York, New York was literally at night was the same shit, but it was dark outside. What was it, like a three hour window when <laughs> shit actually closed and opened? I think it was like a three hour. Every we we was it wasn't out. even that long. That's like what maybe I'm like an hour. <laughs> right. Maybe an hour. Like businesses start closing around five and maybe from like five to seven or some shit. And everything yeah. was back right back open. Like, was, everything was back open by the time we finished walking back, smoked in the park. Yeah. That shit was just right back open again. Mm-hmm. I love that shit. That was dope. But Hell um, yeah. But yeah, that's time management. It's like, how what you gonna do? And no, and, and, and Elon Musk needs to come out with that shit. He come out with robots, but <laughs> we should have a charger. Watch that be part of the Neuralink. Mm-hmm. Watch that be part of Neuralink, some type of like fast charge shit. I'm getting mine, nigga. If you say some shit like, yo, you can just link up for 60 minutes and get it full eight hours and get... What? That's so what I'm I'm saying. Put that shit right mm-hmm. here, right here. Right put here. the X right... Right, right. I need that. I need I'll be, that. I'll get that. Nigga, I'll get what? that before the vaccine. Quick. Like, nah, nigga, bro. what? <laughs> like, like, nigga, give what? Give me two of them. Give me... Bruh. Just in case. Give me... I want the fast charge. Y'all get a new one? Take Sign this shit out. Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> Take Sign this out. me the fuck up. Nah. <laughs> System update. Yeah. yeah. Update. Um, Shut me down for nuts. real quick. <laughs> That'll be nuts. But that's yeah. what I'm talking about. It's either gonna be that, or we can link up to our robots, and they can and they can go do our shit while we sleep. It's only one of the two. That's scary as fuck. The whole robot thing. Yeah, that's nuts. They only 125 pounds though. That that's the first thing I was looking at. Like low ass nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> Listen. I feel like he's trolling with them shits. I don't think them shits is real still. I think he's trolling. I think this is like the flamethrower. Remember uh, when we released those flamethrowers for no fucking reason? Just like, made like 5,000 of them and just flamethrowers. I mean, like, why? Or like the cyber weird. truck. I'm like, this isn't real. This is just, you got bored and made a truck. No, seriously. And had a presentation and threw a rock at it. <laughs> like, this isn't real. This is not a real. It shattered. It shattered. That's what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying so you can tell that wasn't real. He just put that shit together in two days. Like, yo, let's have a presentation. <laughs> this truck that I made. Like, I got bored. I think he's just bored. And I think this robot is just Elon getting bored again. I like, think it, that truck looked like the, the polygon Pokemon and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit look wild as hell. Yo, that shit's in 2D. That shit was stupid <laughs> as hell. The truck is in 2D. No, nah, but that shit probably a beast. Right. He probably got in his backyard going off going crazy in the in the dirt. Just, just when he's bored. Right. Just when he's, you know, bored billionaire that. shit. Yeah. I'm not even mad yeah, at, 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 at all. I'm not mad at all. Make some new shit, though. But, but yeah, if they get a newer link where I could charge up for, like, sit at the coffee shop. Huge you selling point. You know what I mean? Sit at the coffee shop. Huge <laughs> selling point. Yeah. Wireless yeah. chargers and shit. Yeah. Mm. Oh, man. Game changer. NFC thoughts. NFC thoughts. Oh, back and forth. He, he said that already. He said we're going to be able to uh, communicate telepathically. That is NFC. one of the things. It was communicate telepathically. And he said uh, basically a whole bunch of like neural type of illnesses, seizures, or cerebral palsy, anything dealing with like brain damage. They could like reverse that shit. If you have seizures, they can send like a shock that goes like, you know, if you have epilepsy, they'll go like to counteract the epilepsy and like balance that shit out. And like, if you're Damn, paralyzed, bro. paralyzed, they can re- repair the, you know, the connection and th- talk to your body or your limbs again. Like, That's fucked up. He's no, talking about all that shit. Because the first thing I think of is hacking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Nigga pissing me off. Mm, nigga seizure. Bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anytime you would, anytime you do that, it's, that allows it opens the door for hackers to yeah, absolutely. Oh, have you seen the last? I seen this Tesla hack. I'll be on Reddit on the cybersecurity pages and shit. It's a Tesla hack where you know how Tesla could tell the, where something you know obstruction is in the road. You yeah. can hack the screen to make it feel like there is an obstruction in the road and make that car halt. Mm. Like you can hack it and make it look like something's coming at the car. It's on the screen, so 
protect the screen. It, it, it uses the visuals on the screen to tell you what's around it. But I've been saying this for autonomous, uh, autonomous vehicles forever. It's like, it's the whole um, data science argument I've always had where most of the data science, most of the algorithm and everything is based off of Asians and white people. Those are our software engineers for the most part. So when you see a group of white people, you call it a group of white people. When you see a group of black people, it can be categorized as a gang. See what I mean? Because these are coming from the perspective of only Asians and white people. My thing, my problem with uh, data science and algorithms is, is there's not enough diversity in it for it to be uh, valid. For, the, for you know, lack of a better term. There's not enough. Y'all don't have all the answers, Sway. <laughs> you don't have all of them. So, you know, running into somebody who may be Hispanic with a with a uh, uh, wife beater on and some baggy jeans. Now he's a gang member or he's a threat. You know what I mean? Because they look at it as a threat. You know what I mean? Like or okay, but see now I do have the same concern when it comes to. AI policing, which I think is going to become a thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, right. the, I feel like, I, I feel like that shit, that shit, we got to be concerned about that shit. Because they will be programmed to see a, a person of a darker skin tone and automatically think that, oh, you're, the percentage of you doing a crime is higher. And, you know what I mean? Like, yep. now I don't know what now with the self-driving when car. That's not even true. Like, that's what kills me. Exactly. <laughs> that's but, not but even they're gonna, true. They're going to use these things. Because it's Asians and white people. algorithm, because this is how they feel, and they're putting in their, their input probably anonymously. You know what I'm it's saying? It's not even anonymously. Like, you know. That's what I'm saying. They're in there. Like, algorithms are made by people. They're carried out by machine learning. So if right. you give them, if you give them, mach- machine learning is basically, hey, what's, what's one plus one? 26. No, it's two. What's one plus one? Two. You're they're, they're learning from you. Like that's it. There there is no. Right. And then you got to keep going through this. So the same thing with images. Is is this a dog or a cat? It's a dog. No, it's a cat. Is this a dog or a cat? It's a cat. Okay. Is this a dog or a cat? It's a dog. No, it's a cat. Is this a dog or a cat? It's a cat. It's a dog. You know what I mean? Like is this a dog or a bird? It's a bird. No, it's a dog. Right. You know what I mean? Like you're just telling it until it learns the differences. Until it, you got to have enough examples. Until it learns the differences. Is this pointing upwards or downwards? It's pointing upwards. No, it's pointing downwards. It's pointing upward or downwards. It's pointing upwards. No, it's pointing downwards. You know what I mean? Like, until they go through all of those different uh, anomalies and nuances, there's no way it could be, it makes sense, right? So now you got nothing but Asians and white people telling the machine what's what. And they're basing that on how they look at every single thing else. So, yeah, they see a darker skinned person based off of these white and Asian people who are saying that's a threat. They're going to go down the line and be like darker skin, darker skin, darker skin. It's going to be a paper bag test. Like, oh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> For sure. For sure. Yeah. But that's I think that's the biggest problem. And I feel like that's like a couple of years ago what I said. You better learn how to code something. Like straight up, you better learn how to code something. Because the people who are coding is the ones who are making uh, the decisions here on how we're going to be living. Right. So that's how I see it. And like autonomous vehicles, they're running in the shadows. There's a shadow in the road and it thinks it's a person. Look, it's brakes. Like, they're not that smart yet. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. Because they just got to keep feeding them information, feed them enough. And that's why you do trials. You got to feed them enough, feed them enough, feed them enough. Let's see if they could learn from this one. Because they don't know, they don't got all the answers. They just got what you give them. The question is, is it safer than what we have now? Human error? Or not human error? Not so much error. What? By machines, I mean, from what I see, what you're saying is, is the same thing we have now. Is there's more people on the road than autonomous vehicles? There's more people operated vehicles than autonomous vehicles. 
but I'm saying if if everything were to switch and all the all, all the vehicles went autonomous today, would it be better or worse for humanity? I think it'd be worse. It's not to say it's not to say that can it be will it be a perfect system, but given the amount of car accidents and drunk driving and you know all the things that we deal with on the road and you know people just on their phones and not paying attention, you know what I'm saying like. Would it be better to just have all, all the cars autonomous? Uh, that's a tough one. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be worse before it gets better. I think people are gonna take full advantage of that. I think people is gonna not have to worry about safety as they're getting home. So they're drunk as fuck, windows down, throwing shit out. You know. It, you know what I mean? Just partying way too hard, doing way too much shit. Just think about somebody with an autonomous limousine or, auto- you know what I mean? An autonomous plane or some shit like, or autonomous, even just autonomous cars. It's like their focus is elsewhere at that point where they're just trusting this vehicle for everything. I mean, but you can essentially do that now with just one sober driver, right? You could have all that, fucking party. That, that's my point. With just one sober no, driver and everyone that's my else point. is lit. Like, that's my point. Once that happens, there's going to be no DOD or DD. Is that DOD? DD. No, there's going to be no yeah. DD. So everybody's getting lit. Everybody's getting lit. Hopefully the car knows where you're supposed to be going because everybody's lit. Like, oh, nobody has a drive? That's like, you know, I don't want to be DD. So everybody gets an Uber, right? But now you ain't got the Uber driver anymore. I'm trying to keep moving. Mm. Trying to be like, is this the right place? It doesn't look like the right place. But that's what you told him. Yeah. I still think there's probably, it's probably safer. And in, in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, there'll be bugs and shit. But that's what I'm saying. I think it's going to be worse before it gets better. It's I mean, just that's like, all technology. Exactly. It's all technology, but like it gets better over time, right? You know what I'm saying? Like look it's how like many uh lift like how many airplane crashes that we have now. Most of them shit is autonomous for the most part. It was just on auto- autopilot. And pilots don't be piloted. <laughs> right. They be chilling. They get it up and they get it down and they that's it. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like and they never, <laughs> never fucking crash. Ever. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we're we're gonna get more toward that. With the autonomous cars, you know what I'm saying? It won't be that in the beginning. And people will be freaked the fuck out when when, when a driverless car is making errors. And yeah. it's like, people suck at driving, like for real. So it just, it's hard for me to think they could be any worse with robots <laughs> doing it. All right. Okay. Like, there was a big problem with like Uber and Lyft where uh, women were being sexually assaulted or kidnapped and shit like that. Autonomous car, you get in the car with a dude that, or she get in the car with a dude she just met at the club. There ain't no stop this car at that point. Uh, a kid get in there, you get kidnapped and shit. There is no stop this car. Not that I know of, anyway. Just send them straight to where you want them. And then it's hacking, but that's always. I mean, it's almost like, uh, I mean, yeah. You see what I mean? So like, like, what are you going to do? Also, also, if there's no one in the car, if there's no one in the car, and you want to send your kids safely from here to there, I can put my kid in a, in a self. I would rather probably, probably put him in an autonomous car than in a car with a driver in it. You know what I'm saying? If I had to lock the doors. Get them there. Don't open the door for nothing. To, you know what I mean? Have a little camera in there. You can watch the whole thing. <laughs> Take it safely to their destination. That will be the more likely use for it. Every now and then, you will have a fucked up story that happens, though. It's just like with cryptocurrency. It's like, yeah. it's great. People have privacy and able to, you know, buy things. And some people are using it for child sex trafficking. We know that. <laughs> right. It sucks. But it's like, is that, you going to ban Bitcoin because of that? It's like, is that Bitcoin's fault? No, I don't think it should stop. I think there's going to be a lot of bugs. There's going to be, and, it, and it's not, I think it's only going to be a lot of bugs because they haven't been through enough, enough experiences. They, there's not enough information. You know, right. it's never going to be enough information until it actually goes into, um, like, it becomes active. You just got to hit the ground running. 
So that's why I say it's going to be worse before it gets better. <laughs> People are really gonna be really gonna be taking advantage of that shit. People are really gonna be in Miami just going nuts because they don't have to drive anywhere and they got the autonomous vehicle and they feel like they they feel like they're gonna be bulletproof at that point. They're gonna be like I don't know. Like my whole thing is simple as this, Elon. There is zero way to jump a Tesla. Why the fuck is this like that? Did not come? Did that not come past you? You know, you never thought about the fact that you know how many Teslas I've seen dead on the side of the road. I think I think somebody said it costs two thousand dollars for them to come out and and, and help you. Mm. I said there ain't no jumper cable. They're, they was like, oh, the new Tesla's got two. Even a Tesla can't jump a Tesla. A just Tesla can't jump a Tesla. That's what I'm saying. Like a car can come over him. Like oh, I that's some jump. Apple shit. That's some Apple shit. That's like some. <laughs> nah, you got. You need us, right? Like, <laughs> ain't no adapter. <laughs> All right, right. I mean, we got one, but you know, right. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Simple shit like that, where it's like, <laughs> what the fuck. Like, all right, yeah. what if there's a glitch in the fucking? Other? I mean, is there, of course, there's gonna be glitches and shit like that, but. You know, they got to go through that shit. They got to find out that the glitch where the windows won't shut. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they got the windows open and it won't shut all of a sudden. And you yep, get dropped off in South, South Chicago and shit. Or is it bulletproof? Are you able to, like, is, is it, like, does it detect danger? If there's no driver that can spot that shit and everybody else is drunk, can it detect danger? Can it detect danger danger from outside? Okay. If you do a drive by, are those allowed anymore? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, this, what is stu- this is stupid shit I've been thinking about. Like, <laughs> it should help people be safer too. Like, you shouldn't be able to roll down the window and, and point a weapon out. I mean, I'm not. I'm not looking for a car to be the police and like you know. What I'm no, 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 like, but look, if you got an autonomous vehicle, everybody's shooting. <laughs> Usually, you got a driver. <laughs> Fuck no. This is shit I think about. All right, everybody shooting. Everybody <laughs> on both sides of the car. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm just like, this shit I be thinking about. Like, wait a minute. Uh, mm-hmm. like how how secure? Uh, like like you said, the car shouldn't be policing you. But how much of policing should happen? Like you said, if you put your kid in the car, it's policing. You want a camera in there, right? The camera in there, yeah. And where? But where does it stop? Somebody try to open the door. Somebody try to break the window. How much policing should be done? Uh, I mean, I think you can make it detect if something like that happens, right? If there's that's like what a, I mean. If the glass gets broken in the car, if you detect like a impact or something like that, you know what I'm saying? What does it do? It alerts authorities, some type of headquarters, or something that there's some type of issue going on here. You know, what does it do in that in in that time? Like if somebody ping 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 ping, they're speeding off. At least until they can find some safety, and then probably like on star party alert somebody and blah blah blah. But or maybe it just pulls over. But it depends on I'm what the not situation. Really this shit better not better. This shit better not stop. <laughs> if I get a, if I hear a ping ping ping, that shit better not pull over. If I hear somebody trying to break through the window, that shit better not pull over. That shit needs to speed off to the nearest police station, or you know what I mean, it's somewhere safe, like. Immediately, yeah. I said we pull up. I was all right. We ain't figure out what's going on. (laughs) It depends on what it. I mean, you know, like impact. Again, this is not. This is not my expectation of a car. This is if you're in a car and someone comes with a hammer and busts the window, you're just in a shitty, unlucky, (laughs) fucked up neighborhood, my guy. I don't know what to tell you. This is not regular. This is like. 
But you know my thing saying? is, like, usually <laughs> you would have somebody controlling the car in case something like that happens. Usually. Right. And usually the person controlling the car would have a better chance of molesting you than that would actually even happening of someone coming up and busting the, You know what I'm saying? Like, we're eliminating the probably the creepiest person in the car, which is the driver. Right. All these but other no, things. I'm talking like, about if, if you own the car. <laughs> if you own the car, it's your autonomous vehicle. And you're in there with your kid. Impact. Or somebody trying to break the glass. Or are you able to man the vehicle or are you able to instruct it to do something in those type of situations? I'm sure you probably have like a emergency. We don't have the answer. Of, uh, I'm just thinking. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you have Yeah, I'm sure. Some type of emergency thing to like evade danger or whatever, like, get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Do you think an autonomous vehicle will be listening to everything? Like, going on inside the car? Yeah. Yeah. It's like Alexa and all them, they yeah, already listen. Uh, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Already, like, yeah. yeah. My phone fuck is yeah. listening right now, waiting for me yeah. to say, hey, Siri. Right. Yeah. I mean, my shit go off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I love be killing people. People be like, my the phone doesn't listen to all the time. Like, how the fuck does it hear you say, "Hey Siri"? Yeah, I mean we know that. <laughs> we know that, right? So yeah, Snowden, Snowden told us that shit. 